And when it comes down to your Apple TV, you're gonna see all your ports here, Ethernet, HDMI, and this is your power. So we're gonna start off with that. You got this cable right here, and your cable will go right there. So we're just gonna plug that in. So just make sure it's nice and secure. You're gonna be fine. Your HDMI cable will go there and then I will go to your TV. So obviously you need a 4K TV. There's really no point of purchasing an Apple TV that's 4K if your TV is not 4K. Now the ethernet port right here, you don't have to worry about that if you don't have an ethernet cable because this works fine throughout Wi-Fi. And that's how we're gonna set it up. With ethernet cables, you just plug it in and it's gonna be actually a lot faster to set it up. But right now we're just gonna show you through Wi-Fi because that's the case for most of you. Now obviously this end, we're just gonna plug it into your wall outlet. And this is what your Apple TV doesn't come with. HDMI cable. This is how they look like. This is a 4K HDR cable. And that's what you need for this type of Apple TV. Now it doesn't have to look like this, this is just an option. So you just need to plug this in on the back of your Apple TV, just like we did with the power. It's gonna go right there, just make sure it's nice and snug. It's supposed to look something like so. And right now you're ready to plug this into your TV. So right now this end will go directly to your TV. So watch out which source you've got. Make sure you select the right source or else you just won't find it. So it could be source one, source two, depending. So again, we're just gonna plug this end to our TV itself. Now before we get started, I do wanna mention that the syncing between this and your Apple TV will be a little bit too easy. And if you already got an Apple product such as an iPhone or iPad, it's gonna make everything go a lot faster because it's just gonna share that information with your Apple TV. You're gonna be able to set up everything way faster because it's gonna share your password for your Wi-Fi. But anyways, let's just go on with the next step to your TV.